Yo, BJ Gador, former fat slut from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and unfortunately for you, your trainer for today. Welcome to the show. Get Some Gains Live is a weekly at-home follow-along workout show every Wednesday at 10 a.m. PST with unlimited replay. Every week I challenge myself to create a new full body DVD level workout in my living room that you can follow along to anytime, anywhere using mostly body weight, bells, and bands. My wife Naomi also joins us to show modifications for all fitness levels. And the one thing I'll ask of you, this is a live production. Sometimes a live stream can be choppy, but we record a high quality uninterrupted version of this and we'll have it uploaded within 48 hours of completing the live workout. Right now, only one thing matters. This is your fucking time to dig deep, look at the man or the woman in the mirror and make a change. Control what you can, keep showing up, keep making a change, and most importantly, keep getting them gains! Last thing I'll say, I dedicate this show to the members of thedailybj.com who support our unique vision of physical education and culture for busy men and women just like you. I love you guys. You have my heart forever. Let's get a great fucking workout in right now. We got cheat me on the weekend. Yo, BJ Gador here, and I just crushed an amazing workout of the week. Thunder, lightning, and rain stacks. But it's time for the shake of the day. Chocolate, banana. Date, my ancestral fruit. North Africans and Middle Easterns know what I'm talking about. Here's what we got, and I, I've already tasted it. <laughs> this is this is very good. This is a very good shit. <laughs> now listen, we're live Wednesday, 10 a.m. PST with another live at home workout of the weekend. Follow along with my wife and I. Body weight and dumbbells is gonna be killer. But after my heavy, intense workout days, I have a higher carb shake for my shake of the day. We're gonna go with either one cup organic chocolate milk or banana milk. This is a nice dairy free alternative. Very tasty, has the chocolate and the banana in it. You know, I'm all about coordination. One cup of organic kefir probiotics, digestive, te uh, digestive texture. Gut health, creamy texture, all right? Great liquid base right there. One tablespoon hemp seed oil, cold pressed. Your polyunsaturated fats, the omega-3s in the right ratios. You can modify with flax oil, but this has the best ratios of 369, which I believe is a song as well. One tablespoon raw almond butter, which is gonna go better with the dates. Coordination, all right? One banana, two to four pitted medjool dates. Now, make sure they're pitted, squeeze them. You don't worry about how they look by squeezing the shit out of me, they're gonna go into the shape. You don't want a pit to destroy your blender, especially if it's one of these expensive Vitamixes. Two scoops collagen for skin, hair, nails, and joint support. One pack or scoop athletic greens for greens and micronutrition. You can modify with a couple handfuls of organic baby spinach which is one of the 75 ingredients in here. So it's your choice. What a salesman. Two to four packets, ladder chocolate plant protein. I prefer plant protein over whey, cleaner, less chance of allergens, and uh, I get my animal protein at night. So that's how I work that. I went with, now if you have a frozen banana, you probably only need one or two cups of crushed ice. I had, I didn't, I had a thawed or room temperature banana. So I went three cups crushed ice, I think for the perfect consistency here. And again, we talk about our serving sizes when you're using your fats, big boy, big spoon, little boy, little girl, little spoon. Go a half cup on all this stuff where I showed cups if you're a smaller individual and then go full cup from what I mentioned there. I had a dash of cinnamon for the women because of blood sugar management and spice. My wife says, you don't have to throw cinnamon in everything. So I say to my wife, eat me up. Why do you separate so much from the glass? Salt bay, bitch. I'm gonna be shake bay. Holy shit, come on. Take, take a taste. Mmm, wow. <laughs> come really on. Good. Motherfucker, this is free. Which is why Shake Master always appreciates tips and donations. <laughs> Have a beautiful uh, Monday. And again, 
liquid gold. I'll finish my day later with a nice protein and produce meal. I'll probably have uh, starchy veggie like potatoes with it because I worked out hard today, but probably nothing else. I'm going pretty lean now during the week because I'm trying to get next level straight. Peace. Get some gang, 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 get some gang. Get some gangs! Live, BJ Gador, Naomi, my wife, showing modifications the whole way. Three parts of this workout. We start with a warm up using a tennis ball or any bouncy ball. If you don't have one, you can just mimic something. Like okay. This. this is part of our warm up though. And then we go into a really good core circuit. We finish with thunder, uh, rain, thunder, lightning, and rain stacks to really fire it up. So again, everything's getting you ready for some more intense stuff to come. We started last month getting right into it. We're going to build up this month, but we're going to go some heavy loading stuff to come. Get your ball ready. We're going to start in a push up position. 30 seconds each side, starting in the plank. Gonna warm it up here. Stay wide, bounce that ball. Keep the hips and shoulders square, dig the toes into the ground, spread the fingers, palm the floor. We can make short little bounces. I can even bring it out in front of my head. I can bring it out to the side. I can go bigger bounces. We're gonna switch at the beep and go left, which is gonna be my weak side. So that's gonna be a challenge. Activating the core, hand-eye coordination, making you look stupid at home. That's what I specialize in. I can't do that smooth transition. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, I huh? need that pause. We got to wake up that nervous system. We got some really challenging, those stacks in part three, which is the main event of our workout or something else. You'll need a single dumbbell for the second part. Naomi's going to go with a five. I'm going with a 25. It's hard to remember to breathe. Got to breathe. Got to relax. Get that hand eye. Oh, you can dribble a tennis ball. <laughs> A basketball is no problem. Oh, All right. Shucks, I missed the last Lunge position. Okay. Start higher, and then we're going to lower. One minute on this leg, then we'll switch. And I can switch sides. You can go slower, you can go faster. Focus in right now. You can do a little cross from the bottom. Dig those toes. Keep relatively equal weight distribution as you go from a 90 at the bottom to a stand at the top. Just owning the pattern here, baby. That's a dangerous move right there. Dangerous move, Jones. What did you do? I'm One between the legs. Oh my God. In your face. Ah, nice try, oh. me. God, it's not easy with this little ball. This is not, by the way, <laughs> people are like, why can't Shaq shoot free throws? He has like a, it's like a tennis ball in his hand. <laughs> Poor guy. Other side, right side. Here we go, start higher. Stay until we get a minute rest coming up. Chest up, think about balancing, no! No! Think about balancing a glass of water in your head as you do this. You can go from a hinge if you want to a more upright trunk split squat. This looks kind of easy, but what do you think, Naomi? No, it's hard to control the ball. Got it, yes. Naomi always, has always struggled with ball control. <laughs> How does he do it this early in the day? I don't know. Must be that breathing routine. Oh, my toe! I'm not helping you today. I'm a man on a mission. By the way, do me a favor and step right in front of the camera the next time you mess up. <laughs> do it again. That's Went helpful. Under the That's helpful for me. Ooh, little crickety crows. Chris Krause, Rick Rouse. Come on. Oh, this Rest is a minute. dangerous one. All right, catches. This early in the morning. If you're uncoordinated, this will surely enhance that. <laughs> so just have fun with it. No one's watching. Calm the fuck down. This Don't have any precious valuables. 
no urns, family members, That's nothing like that. Balls. That's why we go tennis way. balls. Make sure dogs aren't around because they're going to play. They're going to want to play with this one. 30 seconds. I don't know if my nervous system is ready for this. What? I don't know if my nervous system is ready for this. Okay, so we're going to the ball like this. Just start nice and easy. Little exchanges. Eventually, you disgrace the family name. Okay, we'll go with a orthodox stance. Pivot the feet. Like Rotate the hips. Here we go. Exhale through the punch. Squeeze it on the catch. Focus. 90 seconds per side. If I stop, you keep going. <laughs> I hope no one's like exactly mimicking you. They're like throwing the ball when you do it. What are you talking about? Or how are you talking right now? You're t oh! Really want to make sure we pivot the feet, rotate the hips. Boom, boom. Now we can speed it up a little bit. Fucking Mike. God damn you, Chris Warren. Catman do, motherfucker. Here we go. Now I'm going right at Chris just to disgrace him <laughs> if I miss. Passive aggressively. Release the ball. He just has this thing about good audio. I respect that. Now drop a little level change on your ass. A little more leg. We're going to switch it up now. Go southpaw. All right. So overhand. Did Start I? a little. Yeah. No, I think I, I just went like this. I think I go like this. Okay, so like drop. This. Just switch legs. I threw myself off by facing a different direction. Thanks for the play by play, Bob Costas. Here we go. This is oh, my cat. It's really. Poof, poof. Like Chuck Norris says, relaxed, clench on the strike. Motherfucker still cashing those bull flex checks. They just mail it to him monthly. Millions. Don't touch it. Don't touch it! Don't touch the ball! It's funny how the person who talks so much shit keeps losing the ball. Fucking COVID, man! I don't want it. I don't need it. This is only going to incentivize me to release the ball. Multi multidisciplinarian. I, I don't trust you with your, your release rate. <laughs> God damn it. Focus! Worst, it's the worst You're day of my it. life. Worst day of my life. <laughs> Nobody touches your balls during COVID. They're rules. All right. Footwork. Those that join us every week, continue on our bo boxing skills progression. Can you dribble the ball while doing footwork? These are the questions that man searches to discover. Our stance, it's like a shuffle, okay, where feet never touch, they keep separation. But all I'm doing is twist, southpaw, orthodox. It's the same concept. When I move left, only the lead leg goes, right leg leads. Lead this way, lead that way. And we do it with the dribbles. Three minutes to finish up part one. All right, so we're in it. Dribble, try to keep the other hand by your face as you would for a punch. Ignore my left hand because I have to stay away from the mic. It's a little bit weird. Now what I can do too is I can also shoot it forward to catch it. 
and bounce back. Go lower, drop the hips, get more hip thigh engagement. Naomi calls this Catman Do. Because I look like a Catman and he can do it. Catman Do. Now we can also mess around going uh, laterally here. So don't catch it, dribble it. Lateral movement. You get relaxed doing this. Normal footwork is a piece of cake. It's also giving you precision. You can, better hand-eye coordination, better punch placement. I can do a little bloopity boop, bloopity boop, bloop, bloop. You can mix in some combos. We'll have a lot of fun with the stuff this month. Let's get your body ready. Get your body ready for something serious to come. 11 seconds, we switch stances. Whoa. Freestyle it. So now left. Southpaw. Good breathing mechanics. Try to inhale through the nose as much as you can. You want to avoid becoming a mouth breather as long as you can. That'll happen when things get really tough. You want to lean on that nose more than that mouth. Obviously, it's a little more awkward in this stance. I'm going to go laterally coming up here. So, same concept. Yeah. Yeah, Jones, come on, baby. Get better today. Bring in a good sweat, core temperature. A little brain training, though. Those muscles won't fire the way they need to if that brain's not on. It's neuromuscular for a reason. Let's go. Woo! Work that. Let's work that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, shit. He wasn't supposed to do it on him like that. That boy Ricky, that Alec cat. <laughs> Rest a minute. Yo, BJ Gador here, and this is an OnlyFans exclusive, my signature fucking dish. It really is. Pizza eggs. Dipping, I'm gonna be dipping. Dip, 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 dip in the sauce. Sprouted grain Ezekiel bread. It's gonna be the higher fiber, lower carbohydrate, higher protein version. Actually, it's a complete protein as well. You know, dip the sauce. This is what I'm gonna do. What I love doing is this. Right in that fucking bread. <laughs> like a serious person would, all right? No. Well, Mind you, it's so hot. <laughs>
Right side, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Exhale up, getting shoulder mobility here too. I'm not trying to overload here, I'm trying to align, activate. I'm overloading in part three. You gotta know why you're doing what you're fucking doing. If you go too heavy on this, you're not gonna get the effects. How we doing, Jones? Excellent. Where are you feeling this right now? Uh, shoulders. A lot of shoulders. Because my shoulders are <laughs> fatigued from Monday. Yep. It's always rough on Wednesday when you're feeling Monday. <sighs> Story of my life. Oh, I'm feeling my hip flexors too. But right up. There. And really, the key on that, use your glutes and hamstrings to drive into the floor. Otherwise, they want to creep up on you. Get more involved. Lateral hinges. Naomi's going to go to the hand. I'm going to the forearm. I'm going to go with the left hand here. Split kneel. All right. Modify with Naomi or go body weight here. I'm going to lean to the side. Ooh, I just hit my hip. Forearm top. sets. An adjustment. You can breathe at the bottom or you can inhale down. Exhale up. Stay tight. Oh, yeah. Open up that chest. Look at the bell. Feel those hips. Hitting those hips from that unique lateral angle is so therapeutic for the hip capsule. I like going with the extended range of motion because if I can do it extended, I can do it regular. Switching sides. How about a front angle? They're requesting, they're, actually they're requesting a, a frontal angle on OnlyFans, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's gonna be, if that ever happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you broke. I'm gonna make you broke for it. You know what's so funny? We had this guy in high school, he, he would self-proclaim tripod because he, he thought he had a big penis and he'd walk around the locker room and we, we would, he would stimulate himself. So it was like a really big semi. It wasn't a natural fall, flow, is, you know? What is up with men? He called himself the happening. tripod. So he'd watch. Like no one asked And one you. time during, after football practice, someone caught him jiggling his dick before <laughs> he went to the shower. I always hated that guy. I hope, I don't wish him well. <laughs> he was really a piece of shit human being. And then, you know, when you're that bad, even though it's high school, I don't think you ever truly change. When you call yourself tripod, come <laughs> on. I don't know. There's a lot of growth needed. Left hands on the floor. Pun intended. Naomi's got both feet on the floor when you do this. Okay, so I'm here. Yes. My right leg's up, bent at 90, and I'm rowing. Get the hand far enough in front so when you pull up here, it doesn't hit the thigh. 45 seconds, yes. You gotta really dig the, the feet into the floor. You gotta palm the hand. And not extend your back, because that's yes. tempting to, to do this. If you're moving around too much, drop the other leg. Just use three points of contact. This is the progression. Align those hips, rotary stability. Try that back heel up to activate the trail leg glute. Ownership, ownership. Don't just work the body, own the body. We're gonna go to the ground here, left hand holding. So I actually changed this up from the dailybeacher.com oh, okay. that I showed on Monday. I'm doing this flow. So you're here, let the shoulders hold it, and then you're doing presses from here. I wanted to pre-fatigue that left shoulder. So that weight feels like a 50 instead of a 25. Harder is right here. Squeeze the legs together. Clench the thighs and glutes. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Gets too tough, go back to the tuck. Shoulders stay off the ground, lower back stays pressed into the floor. Shit, how you doing? I'm real bad right now. I'm doing the quiver. My muscles are quivering. Ugh. Extended is really tough. <sighs> Shit. Ooh. Wow. Let me give him this angle. So now, right hands down. Right leg up. 
Deep the toe. It's like a single leg squat hold, single arm plank hold while doing a row with only two points of contact. Making light feel heavy and making core work real hardcore work. That's what I do. That's what I do every Wednesday, 10 m PST. Squeeze it out. Oh shit, tilting, turning. I'm learning, I'm burning. Uh oh, and your mama yearning for some of this heat. Your mama likes it. I was always a big fan with the moms. Moms always liked me. And they saw that Arabian Tom Selleck in the, in the making, you know? Thick chest hair. Oh fuck, we gotta do the other side. Yep, you designed this. My abs are just... <laughs> You're the only person we can blame in this scenario. True. Abs are toast, man. Start with the tuck. Right arm now. Pressing. Uneven floor. Fuck. Pull the air into the belly. It's hard, but you can do it. Shit. Get back off here. Oh, I don't want to shart the first day back. Oh. It might happen. I really enjoyed that rest week, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, windmills. Naomi's gonna do it with the hand, the bottom hand. I'm going left hand. Okay. Straight out to the side a little bit. Slide right down. Start just to about the knee level. I'm gonna go all the way down. That's why it pays to be a member of thedailybeacher.com. You've already learned this over the weekend. Test drove it on Monday. Only so much I can do for you if you're just jumping in cold live to this stuff. I can't cater it to you. I cater it to you if you keep showing up. Then this is the perfect show you'll ever have of all time. Push back into that trail leg hip. Oh. Oh my God. Just lit. Can you come right here? Open it up a bit. Such a good core move. And Naomi shows the mod. You can also just go body weight right here. I like this okay. one too. Yeah, you can drop your hips a bit too. That's a little more, there's, a little more there's quads, options. A little more quad. So this is like the pure hip hinge. And then I can increase Ooh, this side's tighter. the range of motion. And then I can also kind of squat into it. Lots of options, man. But shoulder mobility, stability, hip and hamstring length and strength. Crushes the core, stabilizes the spine. Have I sold you on it yet? Practice it at your body weight on off days if you're struggling with it. Really squeeze the dumbbell handle. Drop a little hip into it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right leg. Oh, baby. Opposite hand holds, slight knee bend. Back hand and that low back. So if balance is an issue, you can kick sand it. Like that a girl. Start there. Or you should pull right through. Only go as low as Keep it away so you got a single plank. side plank held. And we come across the body, keeping that tabletop position. An active rear delt. Keep that rear delt. Make yourself feel this in the rear delt. So we go from the side, passing over the front, lighting up the hips, stabilizing toe, foot, ankle, knee. Maintain that flat back, reach, reach, reach. And only go as low as you can without rounding at the back. You can move a little bit at the upper back, but we don't want to round that low back. We don't have to force the range of motion. So now I'm going on left foot, right hand, this is my weaker balance side. 
Oop. Back toe Anything touch. Here, you can use a kickstand. Just back toe touch it or go body weight. That cross action is still going to be super challenging with your body weight. Align those hips. Think about closing a car door with your butt. Squeeze the dumbbell handle for more stability too. If you get loose in the hand, you'll feel the weight wobble. That's going to make it more uh, challenging to stabilize. Let's get two more reps. We've got a two minute break coming up. Sounded like you said 20 minute break. I was like, wow. God, I wish. Impressive. Two minute break. <laughs> Hey, it's BT Gadur, your favorite famous anus, and here at Sleeves Sold Separately, we know one truth. Every inch counts. Every inch counts. That's why we're very horny to announce the launch of our Lungeman Long Shorts. It's literally the exact same design as our best-selling short shorts with an added two inches of length and strength for more conservative situations. For many of you, it's become crystal clear it's exactly the two inches you needed. Every inch counts. And all of our bottoms pair perfectly with our tops. Go to sleevesoulsseparately.com for the male enhancement you need when you don't want to be a tease. All right, baby. I got my 100 pound dumbbell. Naomi's got a 25. 40 seconds of heavy goblet squats. If you got a weight that's too light, go two dumbbells right here. Slow down, inhale down, exhale up. Keep right and tight to the chest. Box squat jumps. Try to get about six to 10 and 20. Max effort. Contrast. Fuck. Okay. Holy. Naomi, alternating. Plyo stability. <laughs> Shit. Pause, tuck like jumps. That's gonna be good for me. So, modifier, just here. Okay, otherwise I'm here. Pause. Start by loading the hips a bit more. Exhale up. Two minute rain set. Load those hips. We're gonna progressively get more upright. Progressively. 
We started with thunder, a strength move. Then we went fast power move, unloaded. Take advantage of that heavy stimulus to go faster. Now we go stamina, thunder, lightning, rain, strength, power, stamina. Get more upright. Quads are on fire. Heat that meat. Soft landings. It's not even a minute. We're so fucked. I think it helps imagine me someone in the face with these. I like that. Just a little more force production. Who's that? Who's that you're visualizing? Anybody I know? I think you're very familiar with him. Sexiest guy in the fitness game? Caught you because you don't want to say no because you married to it. You went business with it. Caught you. Stay in it. You still see plenty of meat in the lunge man longs when you get into those bends. It's not as much here. Oh. Pause, own it. Explode. Tuck. Make those heavy legs move quick. <laughs> I'm hurting my kneecap from slapping them so hard. Yeah. And then a rest is coming. Oh no, Arnold. Arnold. Maria, you are a Roxy clown. We're live in California. Half Austrian, by the way. Austro-Arab. The oak is in my DNA. Unfortunately, the steroids aren't. I could have used those steroids. I'm using, I'm using 20s. I got 50s. It's a mistake, but I'm going yeah, for it. Likewise. Naomi's going to go hammer grip. I'm going full Arnold press. Inhale down. Exhale up. Here we go. Make sure not to hyperextend your back. Oh, shit. Oh, mother. Oh, shit. Naomi goes, speed push-ups are at plyo here. I'm doing a plyo with a hand tap. It's kind of a modified Superman. I'll go here. You can just, okay. Okay, so here we go. You could do it here like so, or you can just do speed push up. Exhale up. I use the word speed lightly in this case for me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now we got the inchworm. Move this back a little bit. Shit, two minutes of this. Oh, this is a sleeper killer. Bend your knees if you have to. I'm trying to get three good ones in two minutes. So this is what it looks like with knees bent. Right here, I like to take a deep inhale through the belly. Palm in the floor. Exhale. And now walk it out. As far as you can. Dig the toes, sink into it, own it. Now, lift the hips. Use the hip flexors to walk on the toes to here, right here. Try to palm the floor. A little bending spine. We're unloaded, it's with your body weight. Now load the hands, get onto the toes. 
Can you walk it back. On your knees. And Naomi's just not going to go out as far. Walk it. Hand now. Oh, shit. Two to three really good ones. Oh, my toes are slipping. So much time under tension. Doesn't even matter how many reps you get, as long as it's full range and you're owning it. Ah. Ah. Walk it back. Whoop. Oh, wow, that was low. Oh. Mobility meets muscle gain. One minute break. Oh. Bent over rows. We've got a big three minute break coming up after this next stack. with a weight that's too light, move it faster. The heavier it is, the slower you're gonna have to move it, especially on the eccentric or lowering phase, but that also stimulates the most strength and muscle gain. Faster, you're gonna get more of a cardio metabolic now. Slower, heavier, more post-workout metabolic burn and recovery of damaged muscle tissue. Make it work for you. I'm going with 50s. Oh, wow. Some heavy ass work. Do I okay. do 20s? Hinge, flat back, <sighs> chest up, drive the elbows to 90 degree angles, pause, it. slow down. And I would just switch legs halfway. Inhale down, <sighs> exhale up. Nice and slow. Hips back. Oh shit. Oh. Hold it. Slams. Oh. Naomi's going fake slams. You can also do oh, it with your almost, body weight. That's almost worse. Use those lats. And these are, if you know, if you're in an upper level, you can't slam. But in some ways it's harder because you have to stop the ball. Chest up. <sighs> Too many carries for the rain. I'm gonna have to pause. Keep bends in the knees. Oh. Semi lunge walk. Keep the weights away from the body, chest up. Focus. These 50s feel like hundreds right now. Great for building the whole shoulder girl, the traps, grip, arms, core, done barefoot and with bends and slow tempo, feet, ankles, knees. When you're five seconds away from totally dropping it, set it on something high, briefly. Oh my God, so bad right now. Good job, Naomi. 
Keep it away from the thighs. I know the cheat. Oh, these power blocks are I'm so not, wide. I'm talking to them. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to be so yoked after. I feel it. Careful what you wish for, BJ. I'm going to have traps your size. Oh, my God. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm going to look like Holy that dude shit. from I'm engorged. Umbrella Academy, the half gorilla guy. I hate that look. <laughs> oh, God Ooh. damn. Finish it. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm still holding it. Neither can I. I'm only doing it because I'm live. Yeah. I <laughs> stopped it about a minute on Monday. I, I like my hands are like almost like they're just past like the comfort. They're just like numb. Flow, baby. Flow state. Woo! Okay, bye. Three minutes. It's the bottom of the ninth. The Diablos trail by three runs, but the bases are loaded. And who else but the legendary DH Ricky? Rally got Staniels up to bat. You can cut the tension in the stadium of the ninth, people. Here comes the pitch. Ricky sweeps and foul. It's going deep, deep, deep and gone. The rally cat does it again. Incredible. You better hold on to your head, because the rally cat is coming to bat. In this episode of Legends of the Game, we feature an all-time great in Ricky, Rally Cat Staniels. Rally Cat is the most prolific and controversial designated hitter in league history. He played for three LA teams in his short three-year career, including the Fashionistas, the Diablos, and the Influencers. Sadly, he was kicked out of the league due to his extended batting entrances and ridiculous home run celebration. Ricky was not only an unrivaled red light performer, but he was the pioneer of strength and conditioning as we know it today, inventing Woo! over 90% of the performance enhancing exercises used today. But the man was flawed and complicated, leading the league in RBIs, PEDs, and STDs in the same year. Let's dig into the archives to see his most infamous and clutch performance ever, a walk-off home run to win the 2019 World Series with the Los Angeles oh, Diablos. Yeah. But it wasn't his championship winning hit that people still talk about today. Instead, his one minute and six second walk up, a league record that most experts in this story interview will never be broken, remains a defining moment of his career. We love you, Ricky! And a boy, Ricky! Get it going, Ricky! Go balls deep, Ricky! God damn it, Ricky, they're gonna throw you out of the game! Ricky, you suck! Come on, kid, let's play ball! Rally Cat accomplished his feat the year before in 2018, with the 2020 season yet to be determined. Say what you want about Ricky, but he's a true showman and one of the most clutch players in the history of baseball. We will never forget him. You better hold on to your head, because the Rally Cat is coming to bat. Wow. Whoop. 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 We're back. Uh, I just realized we've been playing the same fucking song the whole workout. <laughs> so, uh, hope you liked it. <laughs> Goblet squats. 40 seconds. One more cycle of this bullshit and we're done. Uh-oh. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, goblet squats. Shit. <sighs> my face. Inhale down, exhale up. Ooh. 
Oh. Where am I gonna go? I don't know. I don't care. It's a perfect excuse I need to not do this. Fuck. Push through those toes. Ah. Okay. For the bounce. Every five or so. I'll start showing the one leg and then I'm gonna go to two. So again. Two minutes. Really pop up. Get better today. God damn this song. There we go. I was so in the zone, I didn't even fucking know. Me neither. Pop him. Pop him, my fucking curls are going cray cray. My curls go cray cray. My son's name Ray Ray. Come on, baby. Oh my god, abs. Hip flexors All kicking calves. in. This is going to intensify over the month of August, trust and believe. Ooh, okay. uh. Each one's your last. Come on. Push complex coming. Push stack. Arnold press it. Arnold press it. I feel like the being out of breath is going to make this harder. You better believe it. Overhead. Anything overhead, man. Tough to breathe. Get your air now. Pull it in. Where art thou? Oh gosh. <clears throat> and again, this is a great position if you have any shoulder issues, any stability issues. <clears throat> Try to get the ribs down. Be normal push up, a speed push up, an elevated push up. The one I showed before. Or arm Superman. Reach as you do it to the best you can. Oh man. 
So I need to use the regular. Oh. I'm gonna try for this Superman business. Oh my god. Ah, that was failure. That was fucking failure. Oh, I Hit my cock tip on that one. Felt good though. Inchworms. So fucked up. Slow and steady wins the race on this bitch. Pike, 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 pike. Look at that shoulder protraction, that push away. Down here. Walk it back. Oh, my shoulders are gone. After this, one minute rest and final stack, and we're done. Oh, don't mind me. Pike, pike, toes, toes, hip flexors. Oh my God. Mobilize those hips. Great to do before Ben Rose, by the way. Which is next. No one beats my flow. Can I do standing upright rows? <laughs> oh, that's actually an exercise. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just don't want to bend. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Just a little faster. Oh my god, I'm like there must be three seconds left. Uh. 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 Oh man. Pull stack to finish. Rows, slams, carries. 30 seconds. Exhale up, squeeze. Inhale down slow. Visualize it. If you focus on your breathing, the time will pass quick. Otherwise, it's pure misery. I have to bend over to pick up the weights for the bent over rows. Look cool. Okay. Oh my butt. I'm going to go too late. Full slam. Body up, up. Shut up. I'm so dead. What's after the slams again? Huh? What's after these again? Slams! I, after the slams, I said. Carries. Oh no! I like blinked it out of my mind. Exhale down. Two 
two minutes of fucking hell. I'm so pissed right now. Two fucking minutes. Oh, come on. You barely breathe. Oh, good. The same song. I tried to change it, but my watch is so sweaty. <laughs> it's not responding. It's a good ad for the watch right now. I don't make it. I don't give a fuck. I know. Here we go. But I do make the Heather Green Lunch Man long. I'm sorry. The green and the Heather Gray baseball tee. So Wisconsin look, baby. Green Bay Packers right here. All you need is the cheese head. Shit. I'm in trouble. I gotta set it right here. I'm gonna take about 10 to 15, try to finish it off. I think my arms pulled out of the socket, so they're just hanging off. <sighs> If I put him down, I won't be able to pick him up. Wow, wow, Make sure you wow. have something high you can set it so you don't want to bend all the way down right now. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god, I'm done. So done. Okay. Chest up. 30 seconds left. Precious pumps. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. That's all you can do. Eye in the storm. Let's go. Big chest. Oh. Big chest. One more second. I can do anything for 10 seconds. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. Take a seat, Alan. Right here. Sweet tits right next to me. Those sweet hot cakes. Those mofongo cakes. Boricua. Hey, uh, week one, we got two more of these. What Uncle Baby Blowjob Exotic is gonna do, as he always does, is I'm gonna massage some tweaks. I thought you were gonna add Aloysius at the end. Aloysius is coming next month, which with the launch of our Aloysius uh, tracksuit. All right, <clears throat> listen. Oh. I'm gonna make this harder. We're gonna progress each week. This is our format for August. This is killer. I've got right now uh, 1,100 plus calories burnt. You may not feel as much cardio because la last month was such an anaerobic cardio blast. What you're gonna feel though is an increase in appetite. With this, like that, that last 30 minutes, the, the, this stack, strength, power, stamina, man. We're getting all those fucking fibers and we're doing it competitively. So each one kind of. That, that we get systemic fatigue, we also get a lot of local fatigue. Best of both worlds, shred meets gains. Uh, we have, you okay? Yeah, no, fine. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you think I was like stroking? I thought it was, I thought it was her, a stroke. Her, the left side of her face is drooping, we're in trouble. I thought it was a stroke. Listen, uh, let's have a great month. Really proud of you guys. Lunge man longs in three colors, baseball three quarter, tee three colors, live at a special intro price, sleeves sold separately.com. We're almost hitting our goal. Once the goal gets hit, the price goes up. So help us hit the goal and save some money. You're going to love this. This, by the way, I tested this in both, uh, you know, 50 degrees and 90. It holds the test both for cold and warm. It's a performance shirt. It is thin, so you can wear it on hot days. It's 30 SPF for sun protection. This is, it's not just a baseball tee. Look, it, it, if you play baseball, this will be nice. But it's an ultimate training shirt because stuff in the ground, no ashy elbow. It goes great with our three-quarter shorts as well. I'll show that throughout the month. Anything you got to add? Oh, the faster we get to 100, the faster we start production. So that's another thing. Because once you hit production, I can actually, once you hit 100, I start, even though the thing keeps going. You're going to want these clothes. Love you guys. Have a great week. DailyBJ.com members, Gorilla Corn Gains will be coming by end of week. You do it this weekend. And uh, your next, wow, this 2.0 is going to be coming. By Friday, Saturday, you'll learn it Sunday, do it Monday, come to the live next week. 
It pays to be a member and join us at OnlyFans.com slash BJGador for all BTS footage, my shakes of the day, meal prep videos, and even some pay-per-view opportunities. Love you guys. Peace. Yo, 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 BJ Gador. Sweet mother of metabolism. That's a hell of a workout. Yo, BJ Gador, former fitness director for the Men's Health brand and creator of Sleeve Sold Separately, a premium men's athleisure line based in LA. After much deliberation, soul searching, talking with friends and family, consulting the great one above, I've decided to take my talents to OnlyFans. Now, many of you have asked for this, and I'm gonna do it. And it's gonna start for free, and it'll be the exclusive place for all of my content. I'm talking all of it. Not just the fitness stuff, the other stuff that I'm passionate about. Fitness, yes but business, music, food, lifestyle. OnlyFans is our portal to share exactly what we wanna share with our fans, connect with them in a deep way. So check out OnlyFans, join us. It'll be fun and uh, you're gonna see all of it. All of it. Love you guys, peace.